Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, just a couple of things. People know that uh, I'm a Bitcoin supporter, right? Many of you after fights have said, hey, Dwyer, where do I send the check, right? A few years ago, I would say, hey, just buy a copy of my book. I'd feel grateful, right? Well, you know what? The technology now has evolved where if you want to make a donation, let's say you win a big fight or you feel that I've said something that's helped you in your future gambling, on this video, if you wanted to send me a micro payment, could be 50 cents, could be a dollar, whatever. I've put up a Bitcoin address. I want you to figure out how to use Bitcoin because, quite frankly, in my opinion, you're going to have to sooner or later. This is groundbreaking technology that, quite frankly, is much more advanced than the current banking system. Mt. Gox has come and gone the Bitcoin technology, as well as other altcoins, right? Litecoin, Darkcoin, Maxcoin, whatever your fetish, right? Just understand that cryptocurrencies are here to stay. To the gamblers among us, I want you to take a look at them. Right now, there are many profits to be made for early adopters. Now, let's talk about this upcoming fight. Vassal Lomachenko, two-time Olympic gold medalist, has had exactly, officially, one pro fight, a fourth-round knockout of a 25-3 and three fighter. And now, of course, he wants to challenge the champion, Orlando Salido, for Salido's belt in his second pro fight. How does Vegas see it? Believe it or not, Salido was a 4-1 to one underdog. Such is the reputation of Lomachenko. Now let me just back up a little bit because I really do believe that boxing is a drama that needs to be fully absorbed to appreciate. Right? In 1956, a different time, a different era, different generation. Olympic gold medalist Pete Rademacher, believe it or not, started calling out heavyweight champion Floyd Patterson, a different Floyd, an earlier Floyd, right? Floyd Patterson. Rademacher wanted to be the first guy in history to win the world heavyweight title in his first fight. Now, if you don't know about this Let's both take a walk through history. I need for you to Google Pete Rademacher and Floyd Mayweather. Because Rademacher, of course, won the gold medal by having a succession of knockouts in every fight. Right? He looked like he was a dominant amateur champion in the 56 Olympics. So then he gets in the ring with... At that point, the youngest heavyweight champion in history, right? Figure out the dynamics in the 50s, right? Then he proceeds to drop the world heavyweight champion in the second round, right? Patterson, who ironically was trained by Customato, the same Customato who a generation later would train young Mike Tyson. Right, Patterson gets off the canvas, then proceeds to put a beating on Rademacher, stopping him in the sixth round of the fight. That's why you don't hear the name Pete Rademacher that often. Right, for the record, I believe Rademacher would go on to beat George Shavala. He would go on to lose to Archie Moore. Right? He famously lost to Zora Folly, his amateur nemesis. And you might remember Folly 
from getting dropped in the mid-60s by Muhammad Ali. Right, but understand there is a huge difference. There is a gap between amateur and pro boxing. Right, an amateur can look absolutely spectacular. That doesn't mean that the game will translate in the pros. Now, let me just tell you my own thought process. I heard about this fight. I started laughing when I heard that Lomachenko was a big favorite. I thought it was a joke. Keep in mind, Orlando Salido is one of the most mentally tough fighters I've encountered. He went to Puerto Rico and beat Juan Manuel Lopez, a Puerto Rican hero, the then reigning champion, the person we were talking about fighting Yorkies Gamboa. He beats him twice. By the way, by KO, twice. Understand, Salido fought Robert the Ghost Guerrero and beat him. Later, he would fail the post-fight drug test, right? The win was undone. But the fight is up on YouTube, and it's a masterful performance. In addition to fighting those fights, Understand Salido has been in the ring with Juan Manuel Marquez. Went the distance. Lost the fight, but went the distance. He's been in the ring with Yorkies Gamboa. He's even been in the ring with Mikey Garcia. So this guy is not just a pro. He's an experienced pro who's been in the ring <laughs> with some of the best of his generation. And, of course, he's the champ. So you can imagine, when I heard I could get him at 4-1, to one, I thought, you've got to be kidding. This is Christmas in February. But I decided I would actually research Vasil Lomachenko. I said, this young guy, what exactly does he have? Right? Because I thought the only way I'm not going to bet on Salido would be if this Lomachenko guy on film hints of greatness. Folks, after looking at Lomachenko on film, I'm not going to be taking a side in this fight. Lomachenko, quite frankly, is stunning. Right? Well, you're talking about a guy who has gifts you really can't teach. Gifts that really only come once in your life, and that's when you're young. Right? He can just naturally, on reflex, bend his knees. You've heard me here talk about guys bending at the waist. This guy has really spectacular balance where he can bend at the waist, but he can also stand upright and just bend his knees, stay balanced, and actually still be boxing you. He's a southpaw, but it's, inter it's interesting. Right? He's a young guy who somehow understands the value of defense. See, he'll have his hands up, right? His defense is part of his game. At times, and I'm serious about this, as I was looking at these films from something called the World Series of Boxing, right? After Lomachenko wins his second gold medal, he actually embarked on a televised campaign on something called the World Series of Boxing. If you're going to research this fight, then I hope you look up World Series of Boxing matches here on YouTube. Right? He's on the World Series of Boxing. And he looks, quite frankly, like a young Floyd Mayweather. Right? Mayweather, you may recall, won the title when he was younger than you think against a very cagey veteran champion, Hinaldo Hernandez. It's a masterpiece fight. What is striking about the fight is the fact that Mayweather, who at the time was more offensive than he is now, was a young guy who literally was relying on his 
defense at times in the fight. You don't see that that often from young unbeaten prodigies. That comes across clearly on the Lomachenko tape. As you look at the tapes, you'll notice he has his hands up almost always. Right? It's kind of interesting. You'll notice that he's rolling with punches. He's bending to avoid punches. He knows how to place his body up against yours where you can't hit him with your best punches. Right? He'll get very close and literally lean on a guy who, if Lomachenko were further away, would be able to get off right hands. He's a master at timing. He has hand speed. But like Mayweather, you don't see the hand speed unless he needs the hand speed. Right? In other words, this is a guy who is only showing you some of what he has. Right? He paces himself. Here's where it gets really interesting. Not only can he fight inside, this is a guy who actually is the one trying to fight inside. He's actually the stalker in several of these films. He's the guy who has his opponent on the clock. He looks awfully impressive to me. But let me be clear. This is his second pro fight. The opponents in the World Series of Boxing aren't world-class like Orlando Salido is. Right? They aren't opponents who have beaten Juan Manuel Lopez twice and beaten Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Right? So, I do believe there's a gambling play here. But when I see a talented fighter like Lomachenko, who reeks of possible greatness, I can't bet against him. The play I'm recommending here, and it's going to be a bit controversial, is that you take both guys to win the fight by knockout. Understand the risk. If it goes a distance, you lose it all. Some of these plays have blown up in my face, notably the Carl Froch Arthur Abraham fight. Right? That fight went the distance. I didn't see it going the distance. Well, here, you have a guy who, simply put, doesn't have experience in 12 round professional fights in Vasyl Lomachenko. Even if he is gifted. Even if he has the better talent than Orlando Salido. The problem is he's been fighting three round fights, right, in the amateurs. Three rounds, right? World Series of Boxing, he fought a little bit longer. He hasn't been in the ring with this level of opponent and been asked to go 12 rounds rounds right maybe he's going 12 rounds in sparring that's sparring that's not a championship fight in the ring right and so what could easily happen in this fight is that he could come out and literally dominate the first part of the fight while running into a wall midway through the fight that's a distinct possibility Understand, Salido, as I said before, years ago, went the distance with Juan Manuel Lopez. Folks, this is a guy who has gone the distance with elite fighters. Right? So, I question Lomachenko's readiness to go 12 rounds in his second pro fight when his first, fo when his first pro fight only went four rounds. Given that Salido is already a 4-1 to one underdog, you should get absolutely spectacular odds 
by taking Salido by knockout. Right? Understand too, Lomachenko. Granted, he's a huge favorite. But taking anyone to knock out Orlando Salido is a high risk play. Understand, even if you were to get even money on Lomachenko by KO, that would be a great hedge because you don't have to have the same amount of money on both sides of the play for it to be viable. In other words, if I'm getting, and I'm guessing here, 6 to 1 on the Salido side, Salido by KO, then even if all I were getting were even money on the Lomachenko side, I can simply bet twice as much on the Lomachenko side as I'm betting on the Salido side. Right? Because, of course, let's say I bet, you know, two on Lomachenko by KO and one on Salido by KO. And let's say the odds are even money and six to one. Right? Understand, if Salido wins, then I win one times six. I win six back minus the two I bet on Lomachenko. I end up with a profit of four. If Lomachenko gets the knockout, then I win two, right? Because I bet two at even money. I win two minus the one I have bet on Salido. I still make a profit of two on the play, right? So juggle the numbers. I'm a skeptic on whether this fight goes the distance. Lomachenko's brilliance is such that if he dominates this fight, he has a chance to end it. Lomachenko's inexperience is such that if he starts to have trouble in the midway part of this fight against a seasoned pro like Orlando Salido, he might not have the skills to hang on for 12 rounds. Let's remember, this guy was fighting three round fights in the amateurs. Right? That's how I see it. Let me say this too. I made an earlier video on another prospect, Zhou Shimei, where I was skeptical about parts of his game. I wondered whether he had the hand speed. I wondered whether in his 30s he had enough time to dominate his division. I wondered about his lack of foot movement. I have no such doubts on Vasil Lomachenko. In my opinion, Lomachenko is a much better prospect. Of all the fights this weekend, and there are a bunch, I believe this is the fight to watch. This is a young, brilliant guy being tested awfully early in his career against the kind of cagey vet who's going to give him quite an examination. Right? It's a bit shocking this fight was made. If Lomachenko is as good as his supporters think, then you're going to be looking at a guy who quite frankly belongs in the top 10 pound for pound in the sport by his third fight. Think about it, right? This could be a delivery on the promise Pete Rodebacher had in the 1950s. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. My recommended play in this odd fight is to take both guys by KO. Let me hear from you. Thanks for stopping by.